Hello, lovely people. I'm Patricia Lubeck, and welcome to this lovely question and answer session with Kath and Jessie. Lots of people were really excited that I got to talk to you and have asked me a couple of questions. Would you be happy oh, yeah, for yeah. some like quick fire questions? Mm -hmm. um, so there is kind of a lot of people, who, there are a lot of people who are interested in awakening their intimacy and their erotic and eros uh, expression. And people are wondering if they have a couple of hours at hand, what would you recommend someone who is diving deeper into all of these practices should read, do, invest in, explore with? What would be like a good starting point for people to dive deeper into their eras? Well, um, I have a book called Intimacy Educator, which uh, is, um, yeah, it's, it's basically practices of um, cultivating eros and um, and um, er erotic massage as well, um, and so th that um, yeah, like if you're alone in this um, this place, I think there's so many ways that we can cultivate. Um, the erotic alone and um, using um, breath, uh, sound, movement, imagination and touch. And um, yeah, that idea that, as Osho said, that energy follows imagination. So like, like how can you cultivate your erotic imagination? And whether that's by, um, visualizing like your erotic energy going up through all your chakras or it's watching some porn like to really like give your arrows some food some attention some energy and like feel that and cultivate it like filling your body um and then like let it build like like what would make it better keep keep asking your body and your being like what would make this better um to uh to give yourself that that time and to give yourself that you know breath sound movement imagination and touch and like keep building it to a place that where you can like surrender it into the bigger web um, and with that to like send out a prayer, a blessing, a, a request, a, like, like surrender to the not knowing what the fuck to ask for, but just like give it your arrows. And that to me is like a, a thing that you can do, like just sitting on your couch at home with nothing to do that um, can really like, it's like building ourselves and then building the, the web of delight and like in which, you know, maybe we can find a different uh, way of being in the world uh, that is gonna be even better. Mm. Amazing, thank you. Um, one kind of funny question. Mm -hmm. If you came with a warning label, what would it be? Warning label. Not um, in a mean way. You know, what a great question. I love it. Care thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the warning label would be um, Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see. It's, it's about uh, gender, I think. Yeah, like, um, or, yeah, just like, 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 <laughs> um, yeah, that, like, the, the boxes of, of the 
dominant culture. Um, like if you hang out with me, you might get them uh, cracked open. <laughs> so that could be around gender or like expertise or, or um, eros or being a whore or um, yeah, being more or being less or yeah. All that could be like lots of things that might kind of fracture if you hang out too much with me. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> cool. Last one. Mm -hmm. um, maybe a typical question, but a sweet one nonetheless. Uh, if you could now go back in time and tell your younger self something, what would you tell your younger self? Mm. It gets better. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. We hope you enjoyed this little question and answer game. If you would like to be in on the action and ask our upcoming speakers the things that you have always wondered, make sure that you do follow us on Facebook and Instagram and feel free to hit the subscribe and bell icon on your way out. Much love. <laughs>